Happening today, the Pennsylvania Breast Cancer Coalition begins its month-long Breast Cancer Awareness and Action Initiative by turning the state capitol east wing fountain pink. Kayla Schmidt live at the state capitol with more. Good morning, Kayla. Good morning, Allie. Like you said, today, 11 a.m., the Capitol Fountain will turn pink. But it's a reminder for women to get those mammograms, not only this month, but all year long. Now, every day, 38 women in Pennsylvania are diagnosed with breast cancer, but early detection can save a life. When detected at its earliest stages, the five-year survival rate for breast cancer is over 90%. So how do you detect breast cancer? Those mammograms. UPMC nurse Jennifer Ashbridge says it's the gold standard, and with ever-changing technology, they have become a lot less uncomfortable for a woman to get. The recommendation is once a year, in addition to one clinical breast exam. However, Ashbridge says it all depends on your risk, which is determined by different personal factors. When you had your first menstrual cycle, when you had your first child, if you had any children, um, the density of your breasts, your family history, um, any previous biopsies that showed any abnormal cells with, um, with those biopsy results. So there are several factors that come into play when we assess your risk factor. Yes, uh, Ashford says that the average age for a mammogram is 40 years old. However, she recommends the earliest at 30. But meantime, you can do your own personal general breast exam at home or have one done by your family doctor. Live at the state capitol, Kayla Schmidt, ABC 27 News.